All right, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Um, it is 11.19, just turned 11.20, um, March 24th. So um, I had a slow start this morning. I'm still a little bit sleepy. I woke up like half an hour ago and then went right to get my coffee. I got the usual. I got a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew, but I added lavender because they have lavender now and it's so good. Um, I added two lavender powders. So if anybody wants to try, it really just makes it more sweet. You can't like, it's not overpoweringly lavender, which I like. Um, but if any of you haven't tried it and that sounds good, you should try it because it's gonna be my new usual. I've been adding it the last couple days and I really like it. But anyway, I thought I would talk to you guys today while doing a face mask because I buy these all the time, but actually like taking the time to do them is rare for me. So what better time? I'm gonna open this and pop it on and then we can chat. I need something to wipe my nose. That's what I keep looking around for. I don't know where my little tissue I usually keep over here went to. Um, I guess it's all right. I'm just a little bit stuffy. I'll have to get a new one and bring it over here. All right, but I hope everyone had a nice weekend. Like I said, it's Sunday, and I'm gonna, I guess I should put my hair back or something. I'll just push it back. Um, like I said, it's Sunday morning, and I've just had a super low-key weekend just been hanging out chilling one sec i want to rip this or something okay this is gonna be <laughs> this stuff just always looks so crazy on maybe i should have went with an eye mask for the video but oh well okay because i don't want it to be like falling off the whole video it'll be annoying It's super, super wet. This might not work, guys. I feel like I need to be propped up. Like, letting it soak. See, there's like, <laughs> so much liquid coming off. All right, come on. Well, we'll leave it on for now and see. If we have to take it off, so let me just put my hair up. <laughs> All right, how attractive is this right now? Okay. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying, I just had a super relaxing weekend. And this is a hot take of mine, but I feel like I don't like the weekends. And let me explain, because I know everyone watching this is gonna be like, girl, what? I do YouTube, right? My ASMR channel is how I make most of my money. I'm gonna have to like hold this. So the weekend is not any different for me from my weekdays, except for the fact that everyone else is out and about. So everything's way busier. <laughs> like I went to the gym. I'm just gonna try to rub some of the excess liquid in. I went to the gym yesterday at like noon and Saturday, packed right? Because usually people are working. Saturday, they're like, oh, I'm going to get to the gym. I'm going to finally work out. So it's just more people than necessary there, right? Then I wanted to go to the mall because I had to return some stuff. Oops, I ripped that. But then I was thinking, same thing. My eyebrows look horrendous like this. Same thing because I went to the mall a while ago on the weekend. And it was just like, just popping people everywhere, lines for every store. <laughs> All right, this might not work, guys. I might have to take this off. We need to be like letting it soak. Um, but so yeah. And then with the weekend, I also feel like it's pressure to like do something, because like I said, I was just chilling all weekend. And 
it takes me back to like my college days when I'd be like partying every weekend and I'm like oh I miss that but then I'm like I'm also trying to drink less so I don't need to be going out and like raging you know what I mean like that's the better decision anyway <laughs> but because it's Friday and Saturday I feel like I just need to be you know out let me know if any of you feel that way like everyone is doing something but me I don't know and it's the thing is I actually like relaxing <laughs> like staying at home I love doing that and I really like to be alone but it's just like I feel like I should be doing something because it's the weekend let me know if you guys relate <laughs> uh, but also in this video I wanted to talk to you guys about my neck it wasn't on this channel that anyone noticed it was on my ASMR channel and I wasn't gonna say anything unless someone noticed um, well I wasn't gonna say anything but then someone did notice so I'll just address it I'm having issues with my thyroid it's gone down I doubt anyone can even tell so hopefully it was just a fluke but my thyroid is like popping out I don't really know why I did blood work and it came back but they aren't really telling me what is wrong because I just went to an urgent care so they're just encouraging me to go follow up with somebody like with a real thyroid doctor or whatever um but I was just gonna tell you guys the healthcare system I mean I know that in it's not like Canada or one of those countries where we have like really good like universal health care but it was ridiculous trying to get into somebody I look so funny right now <laughs> um it was ridiculous trying to get into somebody because first of all I'm just gonna go down the line with this so I went to an urgent care because I don't have a primary care doctor which is my fault I should have a primary care doctor but I went to urgent care they had to do blood work and then calling her and then they gave me a list of places I could go in my area right for my thyroid um, and calling around it was like such a hassle to try to get in and I'm like just thinking to myself if I need if it's something about my health like why is it not easier like to be able to take care of it because it was like I had to jump through so many hoops and I'm still not even sure now if it's actually been situated so just for example one of the places I was calling was like we can't take you without a referral and I was like okay well I went to an urgent care I don't have a primary care doctor so I don't have a referral but I do have blood work and they're like well yeah sorry we can't take you without a referral you'll have to go to you'll have to get into a primary care doctor have them assess it and then have them refer you I'm like that would take months like if you guys aren't familiar and you've just had the same primary care doctor since you were young getting into a new primary care doctor like the waiting list is really crazy for most places at least that I've been to um because I did have a primary care doctor I got one but then she moved practices so I just didn't ever get a new one but it took me like two months to get in to see her and then so you know it would have taken a month or so to get into this next place to get evaluated and I'm like it just like doesn't make sense why it's so hard like I'm telling you I've got a lump in my neck the size of a golf ball sticking out and you're telling me that you can't take me because you need a referral like just I could come into your office and you could use your eyes and you'd be able to see I need to be seen you know so that was one thing and then um the other thing that was going on was that the urgent care was dropping the ball dropping the ball so bad it, like they didn't know head from ass at that urgent care I will not be going back if I ever need help I'll find a different one because trying to fax my blood work over to this place to show them if I needed to see a doctor was like ridiculous like I had to go in after I'd already left and sign paperwork that they could release it fine um then gave them the whole day called the other office to see if they'd gotten the paperwork so I could, oh this is part I, you're missing too the place that I finally ended up getting an appointment they couldn't take me I couldn't even schedule an appointment till they had the blood work or a referral right so I was like 
okay? And they couldn't take it from me because the doctor or the urgent care had said that I could, they sent me an email of my blood work panel and wanted me to send it in. And I was like, I'm pretty sure they'll need it from you because that's what they told me that it needed to be faxed in. And they were like, well, just do this. It'll probably be quicker. And then the office called back. We can't accept this email. It needs to be faxed from the doctor. So I was like, that's what I thought. So I had to go sign HIPAA paperwork that it could be released, you know, to a different medical facility. Then they didn't send it all that day. So I had to call back the next day and say, my name is Bryn. I've been in here for two days now. Like I've been dealing with this for 48 hours. Can you fax that paperwork while I'm on the phone? Like, and they had to do it that way because it's like they were just switching shifts so every time I was calling I was getting someone new and it was like the first time I was talking to them so it was like they weren't communicating within their office or whatever and I finally got an appointment but it's not for two and a half weeks and I'm like why I mean and that's not that long trust me I know that's not that long but I kind of feel like they should be, like, I don't know. Shouldn't it be faster than that? Because, well, I'm grateful. I feel like it's already going away. You can see right here. I had a video where it was, like, like I just said, literally like a golf ball sticking out of my neck. Really, really swollen. And I was freaking myself out. <laughs> if you are like me and you're already a hypochondriac and then you have something visibly wrong, you're, like, going on Google and everything is, like, worst case scenario. So I was like, I need to stay off Google just gonna wait and let the professional tell me what's wrong with me <laughs> but I freak myself out really easily so waiting two and a half weeks isn't that long it's better than waiting you know two months but still I'm like I want to know what this is yesterday like <laughs> I've been dealing with it for a week already I want to know um, but yeah if anyone was curious what that was or you're here for my other channel it is my thyroid is what they told me um, but I, like I said, I don't really know what is wrong with it. I woke up feeling like I had a sore throat. And I once I realized, like I saw it, I realized I'd been having a sore throat for like a couple days. Um, and I was noticing when I swallow. Swallowing, yawning, coughing right now are painful. And not painful like 10 out of 10, but like five like four or five out of ten like noticeable right so it does hurt but besides that like pressing on it well it is a little sore when I press on it but I usually don't do it so aggressively it's like not sore that's a little sore but so yeah if anyone's curious that's what's going on hopefully it's something that's going to resolve on its own fingers crossed that's what I'm you know praying for Especially since it's going down on its own, I feel like it's promising that it might go down and just be like a fluke. I told them I'd been traveling, that I was in Panama the week before. I don't know if it has any correlation, probably not, but maybe I just picked up a little bug and then it's gonna go away. It's gonna go away on its own. I don't know. Mm. good good um this freaking piece won't stay put driving me nuts in other news what am i gonna do today let me know what you guys are gonna do today talk to me in the comments please um i was gonna film this in the car but it's just so loud i feel like the roads where i live are freaking trash um so I figured I'd film it inside for once, so there's not all the boom, 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 <laughs> pothole sounds, um, you know. I am going to read. I usually watch Survivor when I have my coffee, which I might do, but I watched Survivor for like eight hours yesterday, binged it, and I am on the season. <laughs> the people that don't watch Survivor are probably like, shut up about Survivor Girl, but I love it. And I started watching season 19, which is Russell Hance's season. 
He is freaking diabolical. I love him. He's so funny. I told my brother because that's like new school survivor is like a perfect depiction of our society today where everything's like everyone's very sensitive and you have to be super, you know, careful and everything, which is just the way the world is today. But this is like back when survivor was good. <laughs> like brutal. Like these he's just a menace. He's like a menace to society. Insulting everyone to the camera. Like just playing dirty. It's awesome to watch. It's way better to watch than new survivor. Survivor's gotten soft lately. Um but yeah. So what was I even saying? Oh, I might watch Survivor for one episode and then I'm gonna read. I just started Empire of the Damned. I'm just gonna let this piece sag. It's not staying anyway. I just started Empire of the Damned. I'm like 50 pages in. I finished Bride. It was really good, by the way. If anyone has been wanting to read that, really good. It was a cute little romance. Um, and then Maggie's gonna come over this afternoon. We're gonna hang. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. She needs my help um taking some packages back like returning stuff she ordered online she's never done it before I'm like I am the queen of doing that <laughs> I order stuff and send it back every single week that exists so I was like I can help you out girl but I think I'm just gonna take this mask off it's kind of pissing me off I shouldn't have gone for the full mask for this I definitely should have done just an eye mask for this video. Like the one I did for my very first vlog that worked out well. This was kind of a shit show. Maybe I should put it back on when I'm done with you guys. I'm not sure. Maybe I will. But that's gonna be it for this vlog. Um, like I said, talk to me in the comments, guys. Let me know what you're doing this weekend. I love when you guys interact with me in the comments, especially on this channel because I'm just talking more. Um, don't get me wrong, I love comments on my ASMR channel because it's really good for sending my videos out more. Um, but I feel like this channel, people will kind of respond more to what I'm saying rather than, you know, you guys get what I mean. Alright, one last sip. If you're having your coffee this Sunday morning, cheers. Alright. Um, so thanks for hanging out guys and I'll see you next time.